This is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a what I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of October 9th to the 15th of 2023. Again, that's October 9th to the 15th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So, um, this week's energy is going to be really, 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 really bumpy. And you're going to start off dealing with people who are going to be grumpy um, and who are on a mission. And it might not necessarily be a good one, okay? And what I mean by that, the energy is going to be very, very grumpy. And the, the energy of the week is going to be very invigorated with Mars, um, that Aries energy, and the electric energy from solar eclipse, okay? You may... I don't even want to say may you're going to have to don a thick skin this week, especially if you're a very uh, kind, empathic, loving, giving soul, because on Tuesday of this week, you're going to have a lot of judgmental, resentful people who are going to take their shots at you just to alleviate their own feelings of inadequacy or resentment that they have toward you or their own self, or someone else, but basically, they're going to try to take a shot at you to calm themselves down, okay, don't take their words and actions to heart, I'm gonna say that again, don't take their words and actions to heart, but also, too, don't stand around and take their abuse, if you are strong enough to stand your ground, stand your ground, if not, try to avoid a particular person, or a particular place, if you can do so, okay, so you're a generous person okay you're empathic you're upbeat and that energy is going to return on wednesday while on thursday there's going to be like an energy of no nonsense uh things uh are time for you to get things done on thursday okay so whatever you set your mind to or whatever ideas you have if you go ahead and work on them and jump on those opportunities you're going to be able to make some things happen for yourself on thursday okay so during this time, Mars will be entering um, its traditional ruler, for those of y'all who don't know a little bit of astrology, Scorpio, on the same day, on Thursday. So this is going to usher in six weeks of intense, slow-burning passion that will heat up the upcoming months, especially for autumn and winter, okay? On Friday, it's going to be a great day to prove your loyalty by having the backs of those that you trust and those who you love, okay? That you know who would truly do the same thing for you, okay? Not flaky people, not wishy-washy people, okay? People that you know for a fact that will have your back, who love you, who care for you, and who want the best for you, okay? This is the time to return that favor, okay? Um, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help reach out, get support. Uh, the person that might help you the most may be the one that you might be surprised by, okay, um, during this week. Um, also, too, there's going to be a feeling of anticipa anticipation in the air, like something is going to be happening because there's some new energy uh, opening up, with, especially with this eclipse. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be the final eclipse for the year maybe so make sure you take advantage of the energy okay so during this week as well going from saturday to sunday this is going to be a perfect time for sporting events actually participating in sports or getting your fitness routine back on track so this is going to give you um this weekend is all about new energy working things out is also good for love, dating, and all that good stuff, okay? So that's a lot going on within a week. But if you want to get a more detailed aspect of it, either rewind the video or go to CafeAstrology.com. I'm not sponsored by them. They are just a great place to get more detailed information about each day or astrological events happening uh, during the week, okay? Uh, so the best advice that I can give you to get you through the week is once you get past Tuesday, remember the energy we were talking about on Tuesday, the rest of the week is going to be bursting with exhilarating energy, dynamic energy, and energies that are great for inspiration and getting things done, okay? The top astrological of the event of the week will be on Saturday, the solar eclipse in Libra. The eclipse lies close to Mercury opposite in Chiron. 
Chiron is all about healing as well, y'all. So you can move on from past hurts by surrounding yourself with positive, uplifting people who bring joy into your world. Not people who gossip about you, backstab you, talk about you behind your back, same thing as gossiping, if you get my drift, okay? So we're going <laughs> to come into the, here in the western part of the world, the autumn slash winter months with this positive energy, hopefully, and it'll permeate throughout the rest of the year going into the next year, okay? So let's get into the astro cards. All right. That was a bit much, but bear with me. All right. So Divine Holy Spirit, what additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of October 9th to the 15th of 2023? Again, that's October 9th to the 15th of 2023. And like I always tell you guys, come back throughout the week to see how a particular message resonated with you or how the energy played out throughout the week in your lives or the lives of people surrounding you, okay? Take it how it resonates, okay? So the first energy that comes out is Pisces the Mystic. Imaginative, compassionate, remember we were talking about that, compassionate, loving, caring, empath empathetic energy, healing Empath empathetic, mystical, adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy, ephemeral, enigmatic, spiritual, emotional, escapist, impractical, oceanic, self pitying, and illogical. What's next? Passion. Remember, I told y'all passion will be a theme of this week as well. Wow. We have performance, entertainment, creative, costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasures parties children humor romance and disco ball okay <laughs> what else do we have here quinn cux complexity irritates puzzles mystifies complicates contradicts clashes misses the marks misses the mark requires translation adjusts makes curious educates and transforms so look out for that energy as well because a lot of the times during the week a lot of uh because you're going to be working with a lot of different energies uh, from the cosmos, a lot of that is going to play out. Like I always tell you, whatever goes on in the heavens, in the cosmos, with astrology, you see it play out in your everyday lives. Okay, don't forget that. As above, so below. What you, What is happening uh, with the planets and the different stars and the different alignments, you can see it below here on the earth. Okay, always remember that. Can't make this stuff up. Revolution. Uranus. Uranus. Revolution, breakthroughs, brainstorming, originality, insight, awakening, technology, innovation, humanitarianism, reform, surprise, freedom, experimentation, the unexpected, rupture, edge, diversity, and lightning. Okay. Then I tell you the sun, that's Leo energy, um, essence, energy, some people say Aries too, but anyway, self-awareness, life force, spirit, creativity, Honor, masculinity, distinction, childishness, ego, hmm. individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, shine, heartbeat, and father. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anything else? Ascendant, outlook, worldview, mission statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, likeness, approach, impact, first impressions. Okay. And final card is 12th house, surrender. Subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, baggage, trans states, unseen healing, spiritual development, guilt, prayer, Akashic records. Like I was telling y'all, Chiron is about healing, forgiveness, and moving forward. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. You can't make this stuff up. Remember, I, t I was telling you guys at the end of, toward the end of the week, it's a good time for, you know, that word there. Uh, spending time with those who love you and who have your back. A lot of good things will be happening <laughs> in these areas of passion, love, romance. But you got to also to use that kundalini energy to help heal things from your past. Okay. However, that applies to y'all. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Okay. As I always tell you guys. Okay. So let's see. Let's get into the tarot. Swords and we have <clears throat> Aquarius. Okay. The star healing energy. So, literally, this week is about letting go of the past, nine of swords here, going towards the ten of swords, letting go of the hurt, 
completing a cycle, fulfilling your obligations karmically for a lot of y'all, the Uranus energy, to get out on the other side of this with healing, compassion, and understanding. Not only for yourself, but for others as well, okay? So you can move forward on your journey, okay? Interesting. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, thank you for that message. What additional messages do you have for the collective from the Tarot to help them during their week of October, of this week of October 9th to the 15th of 2023? For some reason, I'm being drawn to the energy of Archangel Uriel. He is known as the Angel of Unity. So, like I was saying, there's this love and passion energy here. This forgiving Chiron energy is helping you to, first of all, balance and unite the energies within yourself. Forgive whatever has been done to you. <clears throat> and to heal and unite within yourself first and foremost. And to unite with another, if possible, okay? Just saying. All right. Somebody needs to hear that. Look up Archangel Uriel. Okay. The Angel of Unity. Okay. Ten of Wands. Okay. Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. There go that Nine of Swords coming back out. Can't make the stuff up. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Overall energy, the world. You can't make this stuff up. Things are going to be happening. And look, this card looks similar to the World card. And this is talking about breakthroughs, okay? Wow. Okay. Awakenings. Um, for a lot of y'all, a new cycle started. You're letting go of the past. Having, for some of y'all, making peace with the past. Making peace in your own way with people who have done you wrong. Making peace with a particular situation, knowing that, hey, you did all you could do with a particular situation or a particular person, even if they couldn't understand what your intentions were, okay? Moving forward with a clean slate, okay? Wow. Behind that, the cherry. You can't make this stuff up. You're literally moving forward. That's cancer energy, okay? So, with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like this is closing out a previous cycle. One that where you felt a lot of burdens, a lot of karma. You had to clear that out in order for you to receive what it was for you with the ace of cups this is you feeling all the love from spirit source your ancestors your guides pouring into yourself and also being able to receive the type of love you want from a romantic aspect from a friendship platonic aspect from family get my drift okay with the five of pentacles here i feel like a lot of y'all that's all you've ever wanted was that ace of cups type of love in, in varying aspects of your lives but you've always ended up in the five of pentacles aspect feeling like you were literally starving for that attention or for whatever it is you needed but i feel like spirit is letting you know hey you've been through a battle you've been through a war but guess what on the other side of that you have the ten of pentacles you're going to have everything that you need to secure yourself to secure your family but for a lot of y'all this is you coming together with soul tribe members to actually feel like you knew you were never alone but for a lot of y'all i feel like this is you gaining um i don't know why i keep getting recognition gaining attention or recognition or the support that you need from soul tribe members or this is you guys coming together with your spirit team and them letting you know hey you have always been provided for you are always secure within yourself and within for some of y'all you wanted that type of Ten of Pentacles energy from family, but you didn't get that. But Spirit is letting you know you're going to have a new type of family coming into your life. Soul tribe, soul family. Okay, I keep picking up on Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles energy here. You're going to always be provided for. For some of y'all, I feel like this is Spirit saying, talk to Spirit, talk to your angels, talk to your guides. And they will help you navigate this harsh energy, this yo-yo energy that we're going to have during the week. Because, like I said, when I was reading the astrological events of the week, 
a lot of y'all a lot of y'all are very caring kind and compassionate and during this week a lot of people who have some issues within themselves who are very harsh who are very um haven't been working on their own healing haven't been working on their shadow self they're going to try to take pod shots at you try to attack you but it's really going to be up to you to sidestep that energy and for a lot of y'all talk to spirit about it if you can't talk to this person if this person is being irrational combative don't do that talk to spirit about it and spirit will handle it spirit will protect you spirit will guide you through the forgiveness through the having patience and temperance with them i'm surprised the temperance card didn't come up so that you can move forward okay on your journey with uh clear karma with a clean slate that's what the world card also signifies as well okay but for a lot of y'all some people are just going to try to attack you during this week it's up to you to either stand your ground if you feel comfortable and safe enough doing that for others of you sidestepping it and moving forward washing your hands of it talking to spirit source god about it and moving forward okay so let's see wow as i split the deck we have anubis and nekabet mother moot the magician and the opener of the way okay so let's see here spirit what final message do you have for the collective for the week of october 9th to the 15th of 2023 so help them close Help me close out this reading for the collective for this week. So yeah, we going that uh, that eclipse is literally bringing in new energy to help you heal and move forward. Okay, so let's see here what we got. Yo, so okay, number nine fulfillment. What we had nine of swords. Yeah, fulfillment. We have illumination. Isn't that awakening as well? Okay, architect of wisdom. And enlightened communication. <laughs> you can't make this up. Enlightened communication. Three of Pentacles is about working together and communication. But the this card, both, is a number nine. That's all about fulfillment. And working together. Nine of Pentacles, nine of swords. Going from that difficult energy to the energy of, okay, I just want to make peace. I want to do what's best for everyone involved. I have learned from my mistakes. My mistakes. I have learned from the negative patterns. Now, how can I move forward as a healed, more enlightened version of myself? Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Let me find the message for this card. Number nine. Okay. Here we are. So, Thoth is known as the architect of wisdom. Thoth most often appears with the body of a man and the head of an ibis. That's a bird. Although he expresses his wisdoms through many forms, he is the serpent in the key card and cards 12 and 7 and often appear as a baboon. Representing the highest concept of mind, he is the one who brought us language and writing. Okay, so for some of y'all, y'all might have to write something out or you might be brainstorming some ideas that Uranus energy. Some of y'all might be writers, who knows? Okay, in Egypt, he was revered as the patron of scribes because of the enlightened communication that he brought to every situation. Thoth directs us to experiences we require to grow. Wow. Often with playfulness and humor, he sees the cosmic joke beyond the human experience and brings levity, even lightheartedness, and merriment into our challenges and dialogues. There it goes again. Okay. When we align ourselves with his intelligence, we can perceive solutions to our challenges in innovative and resourceful ways. Like the moon he represents, he is the fullness of light and darkness and reflects back to us its essential wisdom. As the sacred holy scribe and architect of wisdom, Thoth urges us ever upward toward higher learning so that we are able to understand the deeper meaning of our lives. When we have embodied the truth of who we are and why we are here, we're able to articulate and share our soul's wisdom authentically from an enlightened place. This card comes up when it is time to cultivate your relationship with Thoth. Or some people call him Thoth. Take it how it resonates. A new level of guidance is available to you. 
As you commune with those or thoughts, you may ask specific questions about something that has been troubling you or any difficult situations in your life. He can offer a new direction or a fresh perspective. He also brings you his ex expertise and articulation in both speech and writing. Allow yourself to experience those guidance and the illumination. There goes that word again, illumination and awakening, same thing. Wow. Allow yourself to experience those guidance and the illumination he provides. If you're attentive, he may give you a vision of your higher self. Wow. Okay. So if you are comfortable, work with this deity, those, or some people call them Thoth. For some of y'all who are writers, he can help you to get over writer's block and to advance your thoughts, do some brainstorming, and move forward with your writing. For others of y'all, he you can use his um this deity to help you to stand up for yourself, to find the words that you need to uh, navigate a situation in the best way possible, okay, for the highest good of all involved, okay? So that is all I have for you guys for the What I Am Feeling energy message for October 9th to the 15th. I hope you guys got something out of this reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.